Rejection is one of the most common and painful experiences we face. Whether it's being turned down for a job, facing rejection in relationships, or feeling left out in social situations, rejection can hit us hard. But what if I told you that rejection, while painful, holds the key to incredible personal growth? Let's start by understanding what rejection is. At its core, rejection is the feeling that we're not wanted, valued, or accepted by others. It can trigger a range of emotions from sadness and anger to fear and self-doubt. But why does rejection hurt so much? It turns out our brains are wired this way. Studies have shown that the same areas of the brain that process physical pain are activated when we experience rejection. This is why rejection feels so intense, almost as if it were being physically hurtful. But here's the thing, our brains are not just wired to feel pain, they're also wired to learn and to adapt. And this means that every rejection has the potential to teach us something valuable. Before we can grow from rejection, we need to be aware of our natural reactions and most people respond to rejection in one of three ways. We either blame ourselves, you might think it's all my fault, or I'm just not good enough. Or we respond with anger and resentment. You might lash out or hold a grudge against the person or the situation that rejected you. Or <clears throat> we respond with avoidance. You might withdraw, avoiding any situation where you could be rejected again. Now, these responses are understandable, but often counterproductive. They can keep you stuck in a cycle of pain and self-doubt. So how can we break free from this cycle? Let's talk about coping strategies that can help you deal with rejection in a healthier way. Here are some steps you can take. Acknowledge your feelings. It's okay to feel hurt. Don't suppress your emotions. Instead, allow yourself to process them or journal, talk to a friend, or even meditation can help you get in touch with how you feel. Challenge your negative self-talk. If you find yourself blaming yourself, ask, is this thought really true? What evidence do I have? Often our negative thoughts are based on assumptions, not facts. Reframe the rejection. Instead of seeing rejection as a failure, try to view it as a redirection. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this experience make me stronger? Seek support. You don't have to go through rejection alone. Talk to someone you trust. Sharing your feelings can help you gain perspective and reduce the emotional burden. And practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. Remind yourself that rejection is a part of life and that it doesn't define your worth. Everyone experiences rejection, even the most successful people. So now that we've talked about coping, let's explore how to turn rejection into a tool for growth. Here's how. Reflect on the experience. After the initial sting wears off, take some time to reflect. What went wrong? What could you have done differently? And use this as an opportunity to learn and improve. Set new goals. Rejection can be a powerful motivator, so use it to fuel your de determination. Set new realistic goals for yourself and work towards them with renewed focus. You can also build your resilience. Each time you face rejection and you bounce back, you're building your resilience muscle. The more resilient you are, the easier it becomes to handle future rejections. And remember that resilience is not about avoiding difficulties, but it's about facing them head on and growing stronger through them. Embrace the challenge also. Rejection often pushes us out of our comfort zones. And instead of resisting it, embrace the challenge. It's in these uncomfortable moments that we grow the most. Here are three case studies illustrating how different individuals dealt with rejection and transformed it into an opportunity for growth and resilience. Mandy was a dedicated marketing professional who had her heart set on a senior man management position at a prestigious company. After months of interviews and assessments, she made it to the final round but was ultimately rejected in favor of another candidate. 
And this rejection hit Mandy hard, making her question her own abilities and her worth in her profession. Initially, Mandy was devastated and felt like she had failed. However, after taking some time to process her emotions, she decided to reach out to the hiring manager and get some feedback. She learned that while her skills were strong, the chosen candidate had more experience in a specific area that the company needed at that moment. So instead of letting her feedback discourage her, Mandy used it as a roadmap for her own personal development. She enrolled in a specialized course to gain that experience that she lacked, and she sought out a mentor in her field to guide her. She also began networking more actively, attending industry events and building relationships with leaders in her field. And a year later, Mandy was approached by a different company for a senior role that perfectly matched her enhanced skill set. This time, she was offered the position. She credits her growth to the resilience that she developed by using rejection as a catalyst for self-improvement. She learned that rejection wasn't a reflection of her worth, but a signal to continue evolving. James was in a long-term relationship with his girlfriend, whom he believed was his soulmate. When she unexpectedly ended the relationship, James was heartbroken and struggled to cope with the loss. He felt rejected, not just by his partner, but by the idea of love itself. And in the immediate aftermath, James isolated himself, avoiding his friends and social situations. However, after a few weeks, he realized that he couldn't continue living in a state of despair. So he decided to seek help through therapy with me, where he began to understand that his identity had become too entangled with his relationship. And through the therapy, he started focusing on self-love and rediscovering his own passions. He took up hobbies he had neglected during the relationship, such as painting and hiking, which helped him to reconnect with himself. He also joined a local support group for people going through breakups where he found comfort and strength in shared experiences. And over time, James rebuilt his self-esteem and he learned the joy of his own company. He realized that the rejection, although painful, had given him the opportunity to grow as an individual. So James later entered a new relationship with a healthier sense of self and a better understanding of what he wanted from a partner. He learned that rejection in relationships can be a powerful tool for personal growth, which led to deeper self-awareness and stronger future connections. Maya was an aspiring writer who had spent years working on her first novel. She believed her story and poured her heart into every word of it. And after submitting her manuscript to several publishers, she was met with a series of rejections. Some publishers didn't even respond, while others provided feedback that was very difficult to hear. She was crushed, and she began to doubt her talent. But at first, she considered giving up on her dream of becoming a published writer. But after some reflection, she decided to take a different approach. She revisited the feedback she received, looking for patterns and common critiques. And she realized that while her story was strong, there were areas where her writing could be improved, particularly in pacing and character development. So determined to improve, Maya joined a writer's workshop where she could share her work with others and receive constructive criticism. She also started reading more widely in her genre, studying how successful authors crafted their stories, and spent another year revising her novel, incorporating everything she had learned. And when she resubmitted her manuscript, she was prepared for more rejection, but also confident that she had grown as a writer. However, this time, she received a publishing offer from a respected independent press. Her novel was published and received positive reviews, with many praising those very aspects that she'd worked so hard on to improve. What she learned was that rejection in the creative process is not the end but a crucial part of the journey towards success. It taught her resilience, perseverance, and the importance of continuous learning. Now, these three case studies highlight how rejection, though painful, can be a powerful catalyst for personal growth and resilience. By reflecting on the experiences, 
seeking support and committing to self-improvement, each of these individuals was able to transform their rejection into an opportunity for success. As we wrap up, I want to leave you with this thought. Rejection is not the end of the road. It's simply a detour, a chance to explore new paths, learn valuable lessons, and ultimately grow into the person you are meant to be. The next time you face rejection, remember that it's an opportunity, not a verdict. How you choose to respond is what truly matters. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content on resilience and personal growth. Remember, every rejection is a step closer to becoming the best version of yourself. Keep growing, keep thriving, and never stop believing in your potential. Thank mm -hmm. you.